Okay, folks, so the usual disclaimer, I'm just making this tutorial for myself, so, so if I forget how to do this in the future, I can come back and watch this film. Um, but yeah, maybe somebody finds it useful. Basically, what I'm trying to do here is to recreate the, the bloom effect, which is like a, a, a sort of screen-based uh, glow effect from Blender, and to recreate that in Fusion. So on the left here, I've got like a, a render out of Blender with the effect, and on the right, is my sort of uh, version of this bloom or glow in Fusion. So this is the actual export from um, Blender, which I actually turned into this. And how I did it was I, I basically found out that the, the if I just put a glow on in Fusion, it just didn't work. What I actually needed to do was to use many glows, each one getting bigger, so you get this gradual glow effect spreading out. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna run through how I how I did that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off all the glows, uh, yeah, the glows. And I'm gonna turn them on one by one <coughs> to show the effect. So this is the first one, a very small one, very close to the shape, and then this one's getting a little bit bigger. Bigger still, even bigger. This one's actually smaller than these two, I think, but doesn't matter. Uh, this one is, maybe you can't even see that on YouTube, but there is a glow there. And the last one is this one here, this is the X-Glow. This is a Brian Ray um, reactor uh, effect. So you have to have reactor installed to get this one, to have this one. And what else I did here was I found that I needed to, wait, let me turn these all back on. I found that I needed to, um, just to try and match the color, I needed to also mess around with the color on this one. So if you see, I put it like here, it gets a bit more, I don't know, green maybe. So this is also pretty useful just to fine tune the, um, fine tune the color. <clears throat> what was also, oh yeah, also I, I, I used a little, tiny little blur here. Probably not gonna see that. It just slightly smoothed it off. Um, what was very important as well for this effect was this color corrector here and here, before and after. If I turn it off, you see it, it, it misses that brightness and the same thing here. It really somehow needs to have these to brighten it up and give it that real nice effect. Um, <clears throat> and, in, and in the color corrector, the thing I was mostly messing around with was the gamma here and here. So yeah, I think all in all, it, it's pretty close. Um, it's not 100%. I would say it's 85%, but it's, it's. I'm happy because I really couldn't get anything like this before, and now I kind of know how to do it. So, yeah, and being able to do the the the, the, the glow effect in Fusion instead of doing it in Blender is, is much more versatile. Give me much more options. That's it. Cheers. Bye.